Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been doing well. Today's video is going to be something I haven't done yet and I thought it would be interesting because we are about halfway through the year now. We're in the middle of June. Can't believe how fast this year is flying by. And as you guys may know, in the last year, so in 2022, that was the first year that I started tracking every time I use a designer handbag. And I do track some of my other bags that are non-designer as well, but I don't think I track like a regular tote bag I would take to the grocery store or anything like that. So last year was the first year I started doing that. And this year I am doing the same thing again. So I was taking a look at my spreadsheet and I thought it was interesting to maybe take a look at the bags that I haven't used yet because we are halfway through the year. So with some of these bags, I do think that I just haven't had a chance to use them, maybe because they just weren't seasonal yet. So with summer coming up, it is very possible that a lot of these bags I will start to use again. Also keep in mind that for the holidays, we tend to use dressier bags. We have more events, those kinds of things. So that could be another reason why I haven't used some of these bags this year. And yeah, I just thought it would be interesting to go through and show you guys. So these are the bags that I have used zero times so far this year. And it is a good kind of wake up call for me because it is making me take a closer look at my collection. And I already know that my collection is big, bigger than what I need it to be. And I do try to strive that balance because I wouldn't necessarily call myself a collector just because I don't really like to just buy things and never use them. But that being said, I am a person who loves handbags, who loves shopping. So there are definitely times when I will buy things and then I kind of realize I don't really use them that, that much. So I am trying to strike that balance. You know, I am certainly not a minimalist by any means, although sometimes I really wish I was. And I just don't have the space to be a super max list because I do live in a city. I do live in an apartment. I don't have a fabulous walk-in closet as much as I would love one. So I really just don't have the physical space to be a maximal list and which is probably a good thing to be honest because I do think I have some of those tendencies and given an unlimited budget and a bigger space, there is a high likelihood that I would fall into temptation and do some serious damage to my credit card. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first bag I'm going to start with is right here, and this is the Balenciaga City Bag in the small size. It's a dark gray, elephant gray color. I think it's called Grease Asphalt, although don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. With this gorgeous, shiny, light gold hardware. I wouldn't say it's super light, but it is definitely not like a brassy color to hardware. It's certainly a light gold hardware. And I purchased this pretty early on into my designer handbag journey. I think it was maybe 10 or 11 years ago, something like that, at the Balenciaga Boutique in Soho. It was around the time of my birthday, and I just really had my eyes on this bag. I had saved up my funds to get it. I really loved this size because of the crossbody strap and with the top handles, and it's just such a great size. It can fit everything you need. It, you don't really need to downsize. It can certainly fit your full wallet. But as you guys know, with the controversy that happened at the end of last year, I personally just have not felt super comfortable carrying this bag. And I don't know, everyone has a differing opinion on it. For me personally, I just don't feel ready to use it. I certainly have thought about selling it. I put it up on Poshmark a few times and I did definitely got some interested buyers, but I don't know. I also have thought about just sending it to Fashion File, but I'm still pretty conflicted because aesthetically, I still really do love the bag, but I just don't feel comfortable really using it. And I don't know if that will change. Like maybe that will, maybe that won't. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. There is some wear and tear on it. So from the front, it looks really, really great. And I think the back looks nice too. I really like this grained leather because it hides any sort of scratches and it is much more durable, but the wear is definitely on the bottom. So I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Some of the leather, the color of the leather has kind of, I don't know if it's peeled off or it's just disappeared or something like that. And there's like a little bit of a stain there, like a yellowish orange stain. And so, yeah, there's definitely some corner wear and I think that's, this one looks okay. Oh yeah, there might be some corner wear on this side as well. So minor corner wear for the most part, but I think the rest of the bag looks really good. Anyway, so this bag is definitely one of the bags I have not used at all this year. 
Who knows if that will change? I don't know yet. Um, for the most part, I am kind of leaning towards keeping it right now, but I may decide to change my mind and sell it later. Next, I have these two crystal bags. So this is the Cara crystal bag, uh, mesh armpit bag, I think it's what it's called. And it's so gorgeous, you guys. Look how sparkly it is. And this is really not doing it any justice in the sunlight. It just looks so much better. And also I have the Prada crystal re-edition right here. I picked this up in Europe last year. I got it for an unbelievable deal between the VAT refund and the prices in Europe. And I think it was under $2,000 when I got it. And so I just, for that price, I could not pass this up. And yeah, unfortunately I haven't used either of these two bags this year. And my, my thinking is because these are dressier, sparkly bags, they feel more appropriate for the holidays. They feel more appropriate for, you know, these, those Christmassy outings and when we're just kind of adding a little bit more sparkle to like the dark days and dressing up our outfits a little bit more. So that is sort of my theory on why I haven't used these bags. I still personally love them. I don't really have any intention of letting them go anytime soon. However, if the trend continues where I go a really, really long time without using these bags, then, you know, I may reconsider that. But for now, it's only been six months and my justification and reasoning is just the fact that like I really haven't had the occasion to use these bags yet. So I think these will be more winter type bags. Um, so we will see. But yes, wanted to be completely transparent and honest about my bag usage. And these are two bags I have not used yet so far this year. And moving on, we have this Loewe basket tote. And I love this bag, you guys. And I know I'm going to be using it this summer. I have some trips coming up. And so I am definitely, definitely bringing this back out. Um, it's just, I live in San Francisco and the weather has been nice, but not super nice. And I've been traveling a ton lately. So I do think as the summer months roll on and, you know, our summer really starts in September, I will be using this bag a lot more. Chloe recently came out with a bag that looks very, very similar to this. It's basically this silhouette with the woody line. So the woody, the Chloe straps that go all the way down here and here in leather. And there's this pink one that I really, really want. And it's currently on sale at 24S. And I just had to, I had it in my cart and I didn't do it because this bag is so similar. And I know they're kind of different in the sense that like this one has brown leather and the one that I was looking at has pink leather. But honestly, they're both raffia bags they're both the same exact silhouette. Like I just really couldn't justify it even though I really wanted to. So I'm kind of proud of myself because I exercise a lot of self-control. But yeah, I just, I really love this silhouette. It is such a great easy summer tote. It can fit a good amount. The handles are thick enough with where they are comfortable to carry. There's virtually no wear and tear. I have used this bag a ton since I got it a few summers ago and it's just been really, really great. So yes, it is kind of surprising. I haven't used it at all yet, but I do think that's gonna change very soon. So here is the Loewe basket bag. And finally, we have two YSL bags right here. They're both kind of clutches. So here is the Chevron pouch and here is the Uptown clutch. And a few years ago, I did do a pretty detailed comparison about these two bags. So I will link to that if you are interested in watching that. And again, I think this is kind of along similar lines with the crystal bags I have. I just don't think I've had the occasion to use these bags. I also feel like what this is telling me with the clutches and the crystal bags is that I clearly am over saturated in one section of my handbag collection and as the, and that is definitely dressy bags that are for evening use or clutches those kinds of like fancier evening bags that don't fit a lot but just really elevate an outfit and I really like this bag a lot this was a perfect wedding guest bag I took this to I think the last time I wore this actually was to someone's wedding and this one's a really good versatile option because this lays flat so it can travel really really well it also has this little wristlet which is really great because you can kind of loop it through your uh, wrist and carry it and just keep it a little bit more secure that way so I do really like that functionality for this one but yeah haven't used these two bags yet and again I think that's just because these are very dressy special occasion type bags and I just haven't had any crazy special occasions this year so these ones I'm kind of on the fence about I still really like them a lot I don't think I'm going to sell both of them I might end up selling one of them so so let me know which one which one would you guys keep would you keep the chevron pouch or would you keep the uptown clutch i don't know and yeah it's something i need to think about a little bit more i will say that one really good thing about tracking every single time i use a handbag is just the data it gives me. It gives me so much good insight into what I'm actually reaching for, what I'm actually using. And I know people are like, here are the top bags that I reach for at the end of the year. And part of me is kind of like, did you really track that? Or is that what you think that you really use? Because I think that if I went back and had to guess the bags that I use frequently or that I reach for, 
it would probably be different than what the spreadsheet actually shows. So for me, having that hard data has just been like a really, really good lesson to kind of just look back and look at my patterns. I will also say too that it's really interesting because some of the bags that are your favorite aren't the ones that you reach for, whether they are not practical. Like for example, this Prada crystal bag, I think I would say it's one of my favorite bags. It's so pretty. It's so sparkly. It's absolutely gorgeous. But this isn't an everyday bag for me. You know, my Chloe Woody tote is, my, is an everyday bag because I go to work twice a week and I need to carry that bag multiple times a week. So I do think it's interesting because there are bags that you reach for constantly because they're so practical, whether it's a work bag or you're going to school or whatever the case may be, just your everyday work courses. And then that for me personally, and this, this may be different for everyone else, but I just love the bags that make me happy. The ones that are pretty to look at, the ones that are sparkly and just works of art. And so I do use them but maybe I don't use them a lot. So yeah, I don't know. That's just some interesting food for thought. I know for sure I'm rambling right now. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching and listening to me ramble on about handbags. But yeah, it's going to be a relatively short video this time, but I did want to go ahead and show you guys the bags that I have used zero times so far halfway through this year. Let me know if you guys are surprised by any of these or, you know, if you had to downsize your collection, which of these would you let go? I'm so curious. Would love to know your opinion. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would subscribe to my channel, I would really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.